We are cooking with you this morning, and today's guest is Gina from Brussels. And uh, Gina's been showing us how she makes a, a very special type of pie. So tell us about your pies. Well, Belgian pies are traditional Belgian uh, thing that everyone does around Kermis time every year. What's and Kermis time? Kermis is a festival that happens in all the little Bel Belgian settlements. It starts in August, and every weekend there's a, a festival in, in the little local communities. and. Um, I was actually born on the Brussels Kermis, so it's kind of cool wow. that um, I carry on the tradition of the pie making that my mother and grandmother and, and my former mother-in-law, Shirley Wadier, taught me. So it, that, I, I love your story, and um, tell me a little bit about how, you know, because they look unique. You, they don't look like what people think of as a pie. Right. They look more like, it's a, it's a sweet dough pastry, mm -hmm. so you, it's a raised yeast dough, and that's why we couldn't demonstrate today. But, uh, and then they're topped with different fillings. Uh, the rice is uh, like a rice pudding, and then you top it with whipped cream. Can we, oh, oh, we sure we'll can. let you do that we one. We sure can. Me and Doug are gonna wanna do some taste you, testing. Oh, you got <laughs> it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave you a bunch of pies. So, <laughs> and generally, when people do these, they don't make just one pie. You, mm -hmm. You'll do a, a batch of 10 is the least amount that I can do, and I did these last night in about mm -hmm. a three hour time slot. And you know firsthand how big of a batch people make. Your mom used to make how many? She would make like 200 for the Lions Club. The Brussels Kermis, ha or Belgian Days, happens every year in July, and the Kermises. And when we'd have, my folks owned a tavern in Brussels, and mm -hmm. that was her draw is to get people in to drink the beer. My, she would make the pies and give away free pies. And, and uh, so it was just kind of a fun traditional thing to do. Yeah. And, uh, so uh, we do this for fundraising. I actually last year did uh, about 100 pies. Uh, my friend Karen uh, Stillman and I, we made them for uh, the United Way. Mm -hmm. And we raised about $300 for their endowment fund. So wow. it's kind of a way to keep that going. Absolutely. Um, another thing you have coming up is you actually have classes. You, you're going to teach people right. how to make this food that you were that you, that you grew up with. Yeah, I find a lot of people come that come to the classes through St. Norbert College Language Services. They, they watch their parents and grandmas do this, but they never really got their hands in the dough and got to be able to do it. So we start, it's a four hour class, it's eight to noon, but we at the end of the class we'll have made 30 pies, they'll each get to take one home. And we, of course, have to test about 10 of them, so, <laughs> which I'm hoping you'll do today. Yes, <laughs> so. we, Doug and I definitely will uh, towards the end of the show here. I think we'll, we're definitely gonna have to try it. Out of these three flavors, what's your favorite? Oh gosh, I, I usually end up eating a whole pie myself because I have to have one of each. Yeah, so. absolutely. Yeah. I so. think I would like the rice pudding because my grandma used to make and my mom used to make rice pudding all the time and that's my favorite. Right. Why is it that food does that? It makes us, gives us warm fuzzies and, and, and I guess that's what this tradition is. Yeah. Is just helping people remember and keeping carrying on the tradition mm -hmm. that, that was brought over from from the old country. Yeah. In fact, uh, the, we're going to have a, I think, we're going to have a, bel a bel crew from Brussels, Belgium come this December and do sort of a documentary. Oh, um, wow. We, I was contacted by someone mm -hmm. and I think our town officials have been in contact with mm -hmm. them, so we're looking forward yeah. to that. You'll have to keep us updated. Thanks okay. so much, Thanks. Gina. We're gonna take a quick break. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin.